Today, some Valdosta State University students are still waiting to move into their student housing apartments. WALB News 10's Brittany Blake shares how Valdosta State is working with the students who have been affected by the off-campus housing delays. Since August, more than 100 Valdosta State University students have been living in their cars and in hotels due to the constant delays of the student housing complex Magnolia Reserve. I'm missing work, I'm missing work, I'm missing class, and I'm doing all this stuff. By the grace of God, my professors are understanding, and I have been catching up at home, but it's like, this should not have happened. Like, you know, you knew what you were doing, so there's really no excuse, and I'm tired of it. Since the September move-in delay, VSU says that a few students have reached out for assistance from the university. We've not heard from a large number. Only a small few, um, but, but of course the resources we have available are offered to any student that's impacted. We understand the situation is at, at hand and where we can help, we will. Dr. Miller says the university is willing to work with more students to find solutions on an individual basis. Currently, the university is providing on-campus housing and official absentee notifications if students have to miss class due to housing challenges. However, many of the impacted students are still seeing the effects on their academics. It really is affecting me and my schoolwork I'm, because they communicate things very last minute. They let us know any updates usually within less than 24 hours. So we have to up and change things. If you have a test due at 11 a.m. and you have to move out of the hotel at 11 a.m., then, you know, that messes everything up. I want to make it happen as soon mm -hmm. as possible. If middle of not this week, Friday, no, otherwise early next week, it will happen. The move-in is going to happen soon. Magnolia Reserve has anticipated that the move-in day will be this Friday, but students say that they do not trust that the move-in day will be fulfilled. Brittany Blake, WAOB, your hometown news source. Well, we